Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Today I'm going to be showing you the 2019 Nissan Pathfinder SL. Let's take a closer look. So this is the SL package, most likely the one that offers the most value. It's going to come with quite a few exterior high-end features. For example, we do have the roof rails on the top and we do have the rear privacy glass for your passengers. Nice chrome handles as well on the side profile. This one is obviously in the gun metallic gray exterior color. The Pathfinder is perfect for those families who want versatility, tons of interior passenger volume and tons of interior cargo volume without going up to a minivan. So we're gonna get to the inside in a second, but here you can see the side profile. So the rims on the Pathfinder, it comes standard with these 18 inch aluminum alloy rims. You go up to the 20s when you go up to the Pathfinder Platinum, but this one is just gonna come with this nice two-tone with the all season tires. The front of the Nissan Pathfinder hasn't changed since the ones I unlocked last year. You can check those out on my channel. Here is our headlights. The headlights are LED daytime running lights. To go up to the halogen headlights, you do have to go up to the Platinum model, which I reviewed earlier. Nice chrome throughout the front of the Nissan here with the V-Motion grill, the chrome right below our front bumper, and our nice large Nissan emblem. It does come with the Ford emergency braking. Nissan's putting that standard in a lot of their crossovers and SUVs now, so it's going to help decrease your stopping distance when you're in an emergency. Under the hood of the Nissan Pathfinder, it comes with the standard V6 engine. It's a 3.5 liter. It's going to give you about 284 horsepower and 259 pounds-feet of torque. What all my subscribers love is the Nissan CVT transmission. I have a lot of comments about the CVT transmission not being up to par. However, Nissan has gone full-fledged with the CVT and it's in pretty much their whole lineup. Because you have the CVT, it does have that continuous variable shift mode where you don't feel different shift stages and you have phenomenal fuel economy. It's gonna give you about 11.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the city. That's gonna translate into about 33 miles per gallon on the highway and 24 in the city. This one is Nissan's Intelligent 4x4, so um, it's different from the Moranos and the Rogues where they're all-wheel drive. This one is the 4x4, and it's gonna come with things like the Hill Start Assist, the Hill Descent Control, as well as the Anti-Lock Braking System. So this SL package also comes equipped with the rear tow hitch. It can tow up to about 6,000 pounds, so surprisingly a heavy amount of towing for a CVT a transmission. Another cool feature is you also get the motion activated lift gate. So as long as I have the keys in my pocket, I can just wave my foot under there and it's gonna open up. There's also this nice chrome bumper protector here. This is gonna help when you're sliding things in and out of the trunk, you're putting things in and out of the trunk. Uh, if you have a dog, go up there, buddy. It's gonna protect the trunk when he puts his paws up there. So the key is the same as last year's model. You have the lock and unlock. It is the Nissan Intelligent key, and you do get the remote starter, where you just need to lock the vehicle twice, and you click and hold the remote start button down, and there you can see it starts up. You also have the power lift gates. You can open the trunk with the touch of a button, as well as the panic button. With the Intelligent key, you do have the button on the door handles to lock and unlock it. So once the car is started, you can approach the car with the key fob in your pocket, and you push the button there and it's gonna unlock the vehicle and allow me to get in. Now we're on the inside of the Nissan Pathfinder and I do sit in these nice massive bucket seats. This one is an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. In this SL package, you go up to the nice leather appointed seats. There's two colors in the leather. This one is in the charcoal and you do have an almond leather as well. So nothing changed on the wheel from last year's model. Our cruise control is right on the wheel. This one being the SL Premium, we do have the intelligent cruise control. So it's going to automatically keep you a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you. Our Bluetooth and our radio controls are right on the wheel. It is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel as well, which I can control to my left. Another nice feature of this SL is there's two memory positions for the driver's seat. So I can adjust the seat and save my setting there so it will automatically go to the seating that I've picked out. 
Above that is our blind spot monitor. So this one comes with the blind spot monitor as well. So it's gonna notify me if someone's in the blind spot and I go to change lanes. The gauges are very, very similar. I have that nice uh, three inch vehicle information screen, which is gonna display things like my tire pressure monitor, my four by four, my radio navigation. So I mentioned this in my last video. This is where the Nissan Pathfinder really shows its, its age and this needs to change. There's a lot of buttons on this front dash here. Um, we do have the large screen. It is a touch screen. So the touch screen will really help eliminate some of the buttons here. Um, but I do have this front dial to control and then I can do my radio, but I can pretty much control everything with the touch screen. There's no need for these buttons. Above the screen is the middle speaker. That's because this SL package comes with the Bose audio sound system. And then our screen is in between our two air vents here. Down below, I have buttons that control my nav, my radio. There's an automatic camera button and it's gonna show the around view monitor. So there's th four cameras on each side of the vehicle and this one comes with the moving object detection as well, where if something's in the back, it's gonna notify you. Our push button start is to the left of that down here and then our radio controls are below that. So as you can see, there's lots of buttons here and it's with this hard carbon fiber finish, graphite finish look, a lot of buttons and even the heating is the we have, we can control either with the touch screen or with the manual buttons here. So a lot of unnecessary buttons I feel. Our heated seat controls are right in the center stack here and then I do have uh, large storage space for my iPhone. There is two USBs, a USB-C and a regular USB to charge your phone down below. Two large cup holds, holders in the center console. And then you can see we do have our four x four dial. So this one you can adjust with the auto mode. There's also a standard lock to lock it into four x four, which doesn't come on things like the Rogue um, where you can just permanently lock it. But you most likely would use the auto mode here. This is where the Pathfinder really shines back here. There's a ton of interior passenger volume and a ton of cargo space. This is a middle bench that I'm sitting in, but it is a nice and very comfortable bench compared to its competitors. There's a lot of space. There is leather seats, as I mentioned before, and these two side seats are heated as well. In my center stack, I can control my heating and my air conditioning. There is also a power outlet to charge my phone, a USB-C and a regular USB. These seats are also on rails, so I can adjust my portion control for different cargo items or passengers. A large selling point of the Nissan Pathfinder is the versatility of the middle and third row. So it's very easy to slide the seats forward. I just need to touch the button here and then I can easily access the third row. It's a very spacious third row. Nissan also really advertises their Easy Flex storage system and seating system where if I have a car seat positioned in this seat, it's not going to fully fold up. It still allows me to tilt it and slide it forward so that my passenger can access the third row without removing that back car, um, baby seat. So there's two sunroofs in the Pathfinder when you go up to this premium SL package. You get the large roof in the back for your passengers and the one in the front. Makes the car feel a lot bigger and lets a more, more light into the vehicle. So the cargo space in the Pathfinder is pretty optimal for all your different needs. When you have your seven passengers, you do have a little bit of space back here. It's important to note that you can adjust the height of your trunk there. You can fit up to a couple suitcases or a couple dogs in the back when you have that seven seater position, but the most storage is gonna come when you're not using the third row. And you can fold those seats down pretty quickly and that will allow more space for your cargo or whatever you're hauling. There's also a little bit of storage space down below here. Um, we do have the Bose audio subwoofer as well in the hidden storage there. So thank you very much for watching another video. Don't forget, my name is Christopher from Cars Unlocked. If you wanna see more 2019s being unlocked, please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about the Nissan Pathfinder, ask me in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.